In this session, we are going to focus on creating habits of motivation and happiness. And when we create those habits for ourselves, they help us to cherish the spirit. They help us to create the vision. And they help us to follow the faith that we can bring that vision into being. You see, we essentially want the same things. We want freedom and comfort and certainty. We want security and we want what many people call that big happiness. And the challenge is we get really busy. And when we get disconnected from that happiness, we start to feel fearful. And when that happens, we start to lose faith in ourselves and in our vision. We are all born fundamentally happy. And sometimes we need really good habits to help us to remain connected with that happiness. And my recommendation is always that habits are best built little and often. I'm a huge believer in doing the right thing to get into the right mindset for five minutes a day, every day. And if you build your own habits, five minutes a day, every day, that will put you in the best possible place to achieve and contribute in all of the ways that you want to. So to help you to do that, I'm going to recommend that you build your habits around three cornerstones. The first is to notice the positive in as many situations as you possibly can. It's not always possible. But for many people, they develop a habit for noticing the negatives in any positive situation. And I'd urge you to train your mindset to be the opposite of that. Notice the positives in as many situations as you can. Secondly, seek gratitude for what is. Notice every day the things that we should be grateful for. Even if they're simple things like the roof over our heads or our families or the technology that you're able to interact with this session using. Have gratitude for what is. And the third is possibility. There is always possibility. There is always opportunity when we seek it out. And when we build a mindset habit to look for possibility and notice possibility, then it is incredible how many more opportunities present themselves to us. So here are my cornerstone habits. Just before 9 a.m. every day, I spend a few minutes reflecting on the same things. First of all, I spend a few minutes thinking about three things that I'm pleased with from the day before. Sometimes they'll be work-related. Sometimes they'll be personal. Sometimes they'll be to do with family. What I really want to do is continue with my brain in the habit of noticing positive things from the day before because that will set me up to notice positive things from today. Secondly, I spend a few minutes thinking about some things that I'm grateful for in my life. And it doesn't matter how big or small they are, whether they're personal things or family, whether they're things that I've thought of before or not. Again, the habit is gratitude. And finally, I say an affirmation about the day. And specifically for me, I think about what I want to be saying at the end of the day about how the day has gone or how it has been. These work for me. But of course, the aim isn't for you to replicate my habits exactly. My aim is to share these to enable you to build your own habits of happiness and motivation. And it's critical to remember that habits are best built little and often. Really, what we're setting out to do is reconnect with that sense of big happiness that's within all of us. And when we do that, 
not only do we set ourselves up for success, but we set ourselves up to contribute in ways that we'd never thought before.